Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadowlady here, and today I'm going to share with you a list of my favourite mods for Minecraft. Number 1. The Wearable Backpacks mod by Copy Girl. Have you ever found yourself wishing you had more inventory space? Try out the Wearable Backpacks mod for a cute way to carry your extra items around. Step 1. Craft the backpack. Step 2. Dye the backpack your desired colour. Step 3. Wear the backpack. Another fun feature of this mod is that other players can actually open your backpack and deposit or withdraw items while you're wearing it. Unfortunately though, the backpack does take up your chest plate slot, so you'll have to decide between safety or storage. This mod is great for early game before you can get your hands on shulker boxes. Next up is Optifine. If you find that your Minecraft is a little bit laggy, this mod can help you boost performance. It also adds in this handy dandy zoom feature, which I use way too often to spy on my friends from afar. And finally this mod adds shaders. So you can download different shader packs to change how Minecraft looks. And look at what a difference it can make. This is regular Minecraft. This is shader pack Minecraft. The shader pack I always use is called Rudo Plays, and it is guaranteed to make any build look 10 times better. Moving on to the next mod, Inventory Pets by Purplicious Cow. This mod adds 52 pets that exist only in your inventory. Each pet has a unique ability which can be activated by placing the pet in your hotbar. For example, the Ocelot pet scares away creepers, the Nether Portal pet teleports you to the Nether, and the Creeper pet explodes. You can acquire the pets by crafting as each one has a specific recipe. And as you use them, you'll need to keep feeding them their favourite food so that they don't get hungry and stop working. I will say that this mod is a little bit overpowered, as you can use multiple inventory pets at once, giving you some insane advantages that just aren't possible in vanilla. And the next mod on my list, Mo Bends. It changes the way players do certain actions, for example, running around, falling, swimming, firing a bow, climbing a ladder, using an axe, and punching with your fists. And the coolest of all, attacking with a sword. It also changes the way that mobs move around, giving them mo bends in their limbs. And just look how grotesque this spider has become. If you really want a laugh though, take this mod over to a multiplayer server and just watch other people move around. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Next on my list is Mo Creatures by Dr. Zark. This mod adds 40 new creatures to Minecraft. So there are dozens of tameable creatures that you can keep as pets and some creatures that you can even ride around on once tamed. My favourite out of all of them are the fairy horses, which come in a variety of unique designs. And with Mo Creatures, there are Mo Ways to Die. You might stumble upon a big cat in the wild, a Komodo dragon in the swamp, or even an ogre in a cave. There's so much more to this mod that I don't have time to mention it all, so if you're bored of taming wolves and ocelots in vanilla Minecraft, this mod will keep you busy. Next, Moth Mod by Aichen. This hilarious mod lets you transform into any mob. All you need to do is kill the mob to add it to your library, and now you can transform into it anytime you like. Now you have the same health as the original mob, and you adopt their size too. So if you become something bigger than a player, you won't be able to walk through a door. On the other hand, if you become something small, like a silverfish, you'll be able to fit through smaller spaces. And finally, the most amazing part of this mod is that it doesn't just work for vanilla mobs. If you use this mod alongside one that adds other creatures to the game, you'll be able to transform into those too. Thank you, next. Just enough items. This mod is super simple, but it will change your Minecraft life. If you forget a crafting recipe, you can just search it up. And if you already have all of the items in your inventory, press move items and it will instantly put them all in the right place. This is especially helpful if you're using lots of mods with craftable items because it will show those recipes too. I also use the item browser a lot when I'm stuck in survival mode on a server and I want to look through all the different blocks for some decorating inspiration. And the next mod, Extra Golems by SkyJ1, is a fun mod that makes basic vanilla golems so much more interesting. You can create a golem from practically any block in Minecraft 
and each one is special in its own way. A diamond golem has tons of health and a powerful attack. A sea lantern golem lights up the area around it, and a crafting golem can be used as a crafting table. And there are so many more. So definitely try out this mod if you're looking for ways to spice up your village defenses. Moving on to the next mod. Decocraft by Razzleberry Fox is my favorite decorating mod. All you need to do is fill up this deco bench with modeling clay to unlock all these amazing decorative items. There are so many detailed items in here that you can use to transform a space and make it look so much more realistic. Next, Wings mod by Polo1 adds nine craftable wings that allow you to fly. Simply press R to enter flight mode and soar around the skies. Be careful though because your hunger level will go down and eventually you will fall. To craft these wings you first need to find some fairy dust ore while mining and each pair of wings has its own unique recipe. Different types of wings also have a different type of animation so butterfly wings will flutter, whereas angel wings and bat wings will flap. This mod is adorable and also really useful. Then of course there's the googly eyes mod by iChun. Quite simply this adds googly eyes to every mob in Minecraft. Yes, even the ender dragon. Next up, the baby animals mod. Vanilla baby animals are cute and all, but this mod makes them adorable. These baby animals function as normal. The baby sheep come in all the usual colors and they can all be tamed like vanilla animals. Moving on to the next mod. Toro Health Damage Indicators by Torocraft. Another simple but useful mod Toro Health shows HP bars for mobs when you look at them. Now you know exactly how much HP your pets have left, how close to death that zombie is, and you can also see how many hearts a player has left. Next, Bibliocraft by New Chaz adds various furniture items into the game like tables and chairs and this functional bookcase. But the best part about this mod is the paintings. Place a canvas into the painting press and you can select paintings from vanilla, Bibliocraft or your own custom library. Just add the pictures you want to your mod file and you'll be able to use them in game. Just print the painting onto the canvas and place it in a frame on the wall and you can scale them to whatever size you would like. Moving on to the next mod, the Flucraft mod from Fred Targaryen. If you love Harry Potter, you will love this magical mod that allows you to travel around the world using a network of fireplaces. Simply throw your flu powder into the fireplace, tell it where you want to go, and you'll be magically teleported to your destination. Next is the Quark mod from Vasky. This adds so many cool things to Minecraft, but my favorites are these shingle blocks, which come in every color of the rainbow, these stunning pastel rainbow planks, quilted versions of each color of wool, variations of slabs and stairs for existing Minecraft blocks, five new variations of bookshelves, and rainbow candles. The simple harvesting feature harvests and replants your crops at the same time, making farming very easy. Sign editing allows you to make small changes to signs without having to start all over again. And putting a mob head on a note block will make it emit the sound of the mob. This is a must have mod, it's so amazing. And the next mod, Biomes of Plenty adds blocks, trees, plants, and more to Minecraft, replacing the vanilla biomes we're all a little bit bored of with dozens of unique custom biomes, like this giant lavender field, this deserted wasteland, a cherry blossom grove, a bayou. These insanely high mountains are the Alps, and my favorite, the Mystic Grove. And there are so many more biomes to discover, making this one of the best mods for world exploration. On to the next mod. The Chisel and Bits mod by Algorithm X2 is great if you love building, allowing you to chisel away at full blocks to make new shapes, or even build your own blocks from scratch. You can then pick up your new custom block in your inventory and duplicate it. Joel and I use this mod all the time in his Build Versus series to make custom decorations or just to add detail to vanilla Minecraft blocks. Next up, one of my favorite mods, the Fairy Lights mod by Polo1 adds fairy lights to Minecraft. You can hang a string of colored bulbs such as these or some colored bunting. You can even spell out words or you can make your own string of fairy lights using whatever bulbs you would like. Just combine them all in the crafting table to make the string and then add glowstone if you want them to twinkle. Then just hang them from the ceiling and you can use string to make them droopier or a stick to make them tighter. Zero's minimap is an essential mod for Minecraft survival mode. It shows a small map and your coordinates in the corner of your game, which you can use to navigate. It also adds a waypoints function, so you can mark important places and find them again later. And if you have it enabled, you can teleport to any waypoint. 
Custom NPCs by Nopes adds an item called the NPC Wand, which allows you to create lots of different NPCs. You can customize how they look, changing their model or giving them different features, and you can give them a custom skin. Then you can choose what they do. You can make them speak, move around, or give them a job to do like trading. This mod is great because you can make loads of NPCs to really bring your game to life. This mod is called More Player Models and it gives you lots of options to customize your player character. You can make it look as weird as you want. And the good news is that this is compatible with multiplayer, so everyone else can also see whatever unholy combination you created. Next is the Baby Mobs mod. This adds baby versions for all the horrible creatures that want to kill you. And guess what? The babies are even better at killing you, as a lot of them have special abilities. The Baby Witch spawns with a baby cat, and it's really vicious. The baby endermen have laser eyes, baby creepers are super fast, and baby blazes can shoot a constant stream of fire at you. So if you want a bit of a challenge, give this mod a go. Next is the Nature's Compass mod. The recipe for a Nature's Compass is super simple and it allows you to locate any biome. Just select it from the list and the compass will point in the right direction. You could walk all the way there, or if you have cheats enabled, you could just teleport to the coordinates. Very handy. And finally is the Gravestone mod. In the unfortunate event of your Minecraft death, when you respawn you will receive a piece of paper detailing exactly where you died and what you dropped. Then if you can make it all the way back to where you died, you will find a little gravestone sitting there. And breaking this gravestone will give you all of your items back. This means that they won't despawn if you don't get there quick enough. You can also craft your very own gravestones and rename them for decoration. So those are my top 25 favourite mods. Let me know in the comments what your favourite mod is, and maybe I will check it out. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time.